fellow scavengers, welcome back to Dusker's Daily Challenge for week 28 of 2020. Last time we left, we visited Salvage B with Swarm and Leaper for the infestation type, and it was only five rooms. Holy hell! In a sense, I'm really glad that the transporter didn't really delete any infestations there because uh, sometimes transporter tends to have that kind of like tendency when it comes to pretty quote unquote pack. Uh, ship with uh, multiple infestation types basically and even by then i got uh i got someone telling in the discord that uh, even with uh, one infestation type it can even delete mm, that certain infestation in, even on a very small ship like uh, a ship with either four or five or six uh, type uh, rooms basically um also, the last time we left this, um, the probe and tow pretty much failed at the same time, so I'm gonna have to uh, fix this scan. I don't want to waste that uh, scan module to gun waste, and I, I uh, pretty much have to uh, assemble a new tow as well. That's uh, gonna be really costly because I only have 12 freaking uh, scraps. But by then, I still have uh, some more upgrades that I can sell, like uh, this long range scanner right here. And uh, let me tell you something about uh, quarantine bypass fun fact. Even if you visit a ship that requires you quarantine bypass and you finish on uh, exploring that ship basically and exiting the mission, the the failure probability actually never moves, moves up rather, because it's meant to do that by uh, pretty much three to six percent or something. For some reason, there tends to be like that kind of a bug. So uh, I'm just gonna sell myself uh, one of the quarantine bypass uh, to do for that fight alone, basically. So I'm just gonna uh, fix the scan this way with uh, ten scraps and uh, assemble myself new tone. Draw one scan notifications, repair the upgrade for the scan and assemble it. So, yes, please. I don't really have an additional tow, right? Other than one that I just made here. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, that's good. Because if I recall correctly, I did kind of mess up one time where I actually assembled a new tow and I didn't realize that there was apparently a tow that was lingering around uh, this like this pretty much column of my uh, upgrade inventory <laughs> that's a really embarrassing mistake that I did there all right so um, Ian apparently has 130 that's very nice because uh, the lowest drone HP you can have in uh, in uh, fresh drones basically like your starting drones and uh, disabled drones um, the lowest one is 70 and then the highest one is 130 this is the ideal uh, uh, drone to begin with, basically. So I'm just gonna have to unfortunately scrap Swifty. And I'm just gonna use Ian for my explorer drone. And I'm just gonna repair it to full because I don't care about things a lot. In all seriousness, um, I don't think I'm gonna scrap Ian anytime soon. And I'm pretty confident with my skill. So, can I get through? I have to get ready to get myself screwed there. So our next target here on Fade, March 8, Infestation Times. Okay, um, we're out of zero fuel. Uh, scraps now, get transport set, that's nice. Pretty much ready to board. Alright, we got ourselves some Dorman drone, found a room 2. Again, two infestation types in the ship, medium cool into gritty. I'm gonna start at 4.30 uh, as we will inspect a bit of this. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to attempt myself on ducking at A2 and see if there's gonna be anything uh, going towards our ducking bay as soon as I open this door. Basically, I'm just gonna start at uh, 4.40. Before I started, actually, sorry about that. I forgot that I closed my timer for a bit. Okay, 4.50. Okay, certainly no swarm. Because if it's swarm, that it, it should have been moving here already. 
Deep is going to be another question. No? Really? But again, that's a really long room, so I can just want to get myself to move here randomly. Like that. Really? We're okay? Good? I guess we're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that's like 30 seconds of all the dub in the world. Whoops. Man, in start of turn is really clean, I love it. Okay, no slime there, right? Okay, I'm just gonna bring Jeff here to throw this thing. I don't want to actively act actively use my transporter just yet. Despite me having multiple of them. Uh, go ahead, Jeff. So let's not do that. I'm just gonna use that broken toe once uh, this toe that I'm currently using is broken. Alright. Yeah, I feel like if my perfect my perception is enough, they should have they should have come already. All right, uh, I have that generator that I can use, but uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna uh, scatter around this one first. This one. Always pop uh, some doors if you want to go to the next one. It's gonna be pretty advantageous on your end. Also, I want to face that one since I know that this room is basically safe for me to scout. I would not want to use room two type of room to base slime spawn in because uh, worst case scenario, it can. Uh, suddenly appear in uh, on top of the drone that you are currently parked at, and you don't basically have the space to escape yourself from the sand drone. Some small room right here, or not? Never mind. Oh, that's room eight. Okay, let's go. I meant to actually uh, explore that room before deciding to create some spawn. Hmm. Hmm. I'll 
normally do against that trick. Oops. Sorry, there's gonna be a bit of a pause there. Alright. Very nice. Alright. Potion fuel. No jump fuel. Man, I'm. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need more champions to try the last one. Alright, so. didn't even power that damn uh, room actually Jesus Christ well, I was kind of hoping for the radiation not to hit that room to be very honest because that's like one of the generators that I didn't decide to power Found our investigation sources. You know what? I'm not taking risks in this one. Oh crap, man. Jesus. Have yet to find the infestation yet, but uh, we can try. We can try. There's a transport signal there too. We can technically try to use that to our advantage. Just by simply coming in and coming out from that uh, particular... Oh wow, what the? That's not swarm. That's something that just moved from me to me. Interesting. From how long it takes to move, it seems like a leaper, too. Our two infestations. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just use the pry and not use the, the transporter. But then it really depends on this uh, uh, ship results, basically. I think I just even lost the transport signal at that uh, room that I wanted to go to. to that drift generator room. Yep. Are we good? Yep. We good. Ship defense, I don't have any. Hmm, there's A4. Intriguing. Okay, I gotta keep in mind room 12 has the leaper that I'm not gonna bother like ever. Just waiting for the protocols command to appear because uh, at uh, every 10 minutes of mission time interval, 
uh, the gear will roll the dice for you whether uh, the ship you're going in will have oh will have the failure of close command or not since we have two sentries why don't we use the train Okay, trap collides. Collides the trap with transporter command. Alright, the 29 is close to that, of course. Alright, all the sentries in the house. Always kill your sentries, bro. I'm pretty hoping that room 17 ha uh, will have the uh, next generator, but I'm not gonna uh, really hope too much on that. Oh! Oh, wow! Alright! I guess I'm proven wrong. Room 10 power. Let's recheck. So this generator powers those. This generator powers those two. And let's see what this generator. One power, hopefully room 16 in a sense. Yes, thank you. Oh, right. Awesome. Wait, did that trap actually still please? Uh, yellow? I tried it a little bit. Oh, okay. Huh. Because I have this is discussion with you, Rick. Ah, so apparently the activated uh, trap won't uh, won't blink in yellow anymore, and just hmm, and just has that uh, red uh, red color. This ship upgrade is total, yeah. Alright, extra drone incoming. Speed boost. Pretty nice. But not much people actually use that kind of speed boost. So, uh, it's just probably about to turn left. At this nearest door here. Alright, uh, one more to check. Sentries, one leaper? Quite an unusual combination, that. Well, it, so. That's fair enough. Alright, I guess that's it. Mm, in a sense, I do want this uh, two slots here, but. Uh, actually, never check uh, what that. Uh, this B fuel has is it like half still six even but then knowing my uh, experience in board ship and salvage ship they tend to, to be pretty rich with loot but only have uh, six B fuel charge 
I'm just gonna have to go with my experience in this one. I'm just gonna get out from here. Am I gathered deteriorate? That for backup. All right. So Luke and Haley both have 120. That's very nice of them, actually. I'm just gonna have to scrap Sarah. And Cliff. Yeah, because they both have one. Uh, uh, one time for the drone HP, unfortunately. I'm sorry, folks. I'm gonna have to do that. For the sake of survival of the fittest, that kind of thing. 26, perhaps, I think. Alright. Um. Oops. So, uh, look type of drone is back into their uh, genera generator duty. Hmm. I might as well just gonna return will look with their 10 HP just because. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, I forgot my method uh, of exploration. So this tends to be my uh, whole set with my 4 drone slots empty. This is because from my experience, a ship often has for extra additional drone upgrades that you can get with the ship uh, even with destroyed drones basically in case you're pretty much getting unlucky by getting uh, them instead of uh, this, this type of yellow disabled drone basically just kind of one of my preferences and I'm still keeping it uh, that way until today really except in uh, outpost, I will usually occupy one of the slots for teleport, in which we still have yet to have in this uh, week's weekly. <laughs> but yeah, Tiang, uh, that's pretty much done for Accurate. I'm gonna go to. Yeah, pipe system. system is definitely on the, on the way to go here let's go oh my god we only have one jump fuel <laughs> this is not ideal actually yeah let's go I think after this we definitely should go visit the uh, Kali system with uh, uh, there are lots of fuel depot thing but then I think and I hope we will be pretty much richer um, okay, uh, before I forget, I have to add Jeff's HP by a lot more here. You know what, because I'm being crazy like that, I'm just gonna waste all of uh, this uh, 25 scraps for uh, <laughs> for Jeff's HP there. Mm -hmm. I want the full set of trap. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Savage A, hopefully we will get two drones, but I'm gonna bet that one of them will be uh, destroyed drone, so we cannot throw them back to the boarding craft. Alright, I'm with them with my set. Start to prioritize that room if you want to. Showtime! 24.44 starting time. Oh wow! Two drones! Oh uh, wait, still one drone. The one at room 2, I guess. Uh, scraps are not uh, double drone like this. Sensor! 
sensors will attack them and it can detect slime compared to uh, its motion counterpart. <laughs> Pretty much it really. But they're really good at it. This still like has uh, another leaper. Oh wow, it is indeed slime. Holy hell. Slime will never move towards uh, across rooms and doors basically. So that's why I open all the doors like this. But this means that we're gonna be raising it against time just a bit. Okay. Get the rest of the fan, it's fine. Nothing too important to be seen there. Okay. But we will want to dock at A5. Hmm, where's the other transport signal? Surprisingly, no more in the rooms that we've gotten to some active view so far compared to. Oh my god, we don't want that. Um, A5, A6. Okay. There are still A2 and A4 at the bottom right there. Gonna get up myself. Uh, a bit of a there. All right, this is the. Oh, it is destroyed, and I am right. Holy crap! That's not drone five. This is drone six with interfacing two. Very nice. Okay. So room seven. And what? Oh no, not this one either. Hmm. I'm just gonna dock at A2 and I'm gonna show you this one trick where you can basically swap uh, uh, upgrades with the drone that's located at the doorway like this. In that case, we're gonna need Jeff. Scan. Not much there, thankfully. Alright, we turn the scan. And watch that. Uh, if I recall correctly, Jurerik was the one to find this kind of a method first, and uh, after that, we just use this kind of like a method. Um, I want to check this room first, actually. Only access terminal and nothing more. At least we can just get out from A6. Nice. Aha! Nice! Back in room 2, A6. Goodbye. That's pretty much an advantage in case that room got slimed and you somehow got that room scan and you could just uh, solve the room like that, basically. Lots of things to learn here the more you know the mechanics uh, of this derelict and it's one of the fun things, really. Alright, I think that's all, yeah. Alright. 30 minutes in, 
got ourselves some pri oh I think I added that pry from drone tree actually and we got ourselves some stuff this one is pretty much far my milk fuel depot D to infestation type which means I do not want my transporter I do want my hmm. I don't think I'm gonna install anything let's not do that then um okay mouse has 70 which means i think uh you know what i'm just gonna keep you just in case because i don't think we will have um any total drone in d or c class in few people i mean because moteki and salvage somewhat and for some reason they tend to have this one drone lingering around there which is pretty handy actually if you ask me hmm i'm just gonna keep this to then um sure oh 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 i have yet to okay i only have x -crapped. i'm just gonna say screw it and we're gonna be fine basically wait i want the i want the prime not the interface there you have it all right oh yeah also something that i forgot to tell is that or maybe i have mentioned this in episode two i think even if you don't use the ship upgrade uh, type that you were having like for example you didn't use remote power and regroup power in this uh, mission uh, since the slot was occupied with that uh, remote or regroup power it will uh, it will still affect the ship slot deterioration so that's kinda a bummer on its own let me start at 30 to 20 alright fuel 2 please to be fuel, uh, jump fuel. God damn it! Oh, we got ourselves some swarm around here, especially at room five. Not room four, apparently. Okay, this room is not gonna be safe anytime soon. Hmm. I don't have lure on me to. That room's gonna be very tricky to, to handle. Oh, that room even has the Grand Leaper. Okay, so I'm going to apply what I mean by camera drone. Which means Brandon's gonna be the hero of this derelict. start to see red box that means you can start to close the airlock and there you have it and in leaper's red box Surprisingly, it's still there despite Brandon doesn't face towards that leaper. I'm gonna say it's really special. Alright. Wait for pretty much uh, two or three seconds and then feel free to close the door. Oh crap! Oh crap! is gonna hit in 354 in room 6 in the lab here to visit and he has pretty much a high chance to hit room 4 in which is adjacent to room 6 that's not good 
That's not good, I'm telling you. Well, I'm just gonna pull for extra. Something like this. Mindful 3:54 is the time where I should start to bail. Come on now. The percentage uh, rises uh, pretty much goes down though to 40 percent. There you go. Oh my god! Yeah, that could be dangerous if you stay long enough in that room 6. But I'm pretty sure we don't have second fan, so we just can easily go there. Oh my god! Only 40% of chance there. And somewhat, it really just screwed that uh, room there. Like seriously, look at that percentage, man. Jesus. Only 42% at room 6 and it still hit regardless. God damn, man. You don't want to be there. Oh, Alright. So, that's pretty much a small interesting mission. Explore the entirety of that room because we only have one jump fuel left. We will just go in the next episode to Kali system where we will have pretty much a bunch of uh, this uh, fuel depots and space stations. Basically, where it's gonna be a fun time. I think it's gonna start from H and then going towards uh, the snaky route. And then go here and then eventually going to this target. I'm gonna explain this uh, why this target is yellow despite we have yet to visit it uh, in the next episode basically. Thanks for watching, uh, feel free to leave some comment, I'm always reading them and I will respond if necessary. Cheers, have a good day.